There aren't two. Okay, put the poles aside, take your skis off, and let's concentrate on stretching our calves. Stand in a staggered stance position, knee stays in line with the heel. Back leg, work it back. Touch that, that heel down, very, very important. That will stretch the gastronemus as well as the solus. Okay. What you want to do is you want to concentrate on always, always maintain full contact with the heel. That's very important to stretch the calf. Okay, hold it. Once you feel the muscle stretch, that's where you stop and you hold it for a slow count to 20. Tailbone drops directly down and we can circle back with our arms or if you need to balance by hanging onto your sofa, a table or a chair, that's fine. Okay, if you want to work your balance, try this. Once more round, big arm circles, stretch out the upper body, rib cage area. Same thing over to the other side. Here we go. Work that back, knee in line with the heel. Feel the stretch yet? No? Keep going. Keep going until you feel it. Okay, and then let's work on our balance here. Arms come up overhead. Inhale and exhale. Down come the arms by the side. Still stretching that calf. Okay, and push the arms down by the side. Next, you're nice and tall. And relax, release. Come to this position here. Let's roll forward, round our shoulders, round our spines. A good stretch for the spine. It's not a stretch for the hamstrings because it's the hamstring muscles and the lower back muscles that are preventing us from falling straight forward. Okay, so just round the spine and then monkey hang. Arms come forward. Head comes forward to and hang, relax. And with knees bent to the right, stretch over and stretch over to the left. Back to center and roll up. And stretch up overhead. Reach up, reach to the right and to the left. Again to the right, hips are forward. This is a movement for the upper body, a stretch for the obliques, the side of the abdominals. We're going to concentrate on the tummy today. Yes, so we will be working the oblique muscles, the side of the abdominals. Stretch up. Inhale, tummy comes out. Exhale, tummy goes in. Once more, up you go. And down. Okay, and if you're ready, start by marching. Come forward and back in your march. Very important that you make initial contact with the ball of your foot and you roll through and touch the heel each and every time. Knees are always in flex. Always think soft with the knee joints. Never lock them. Tailbone is down. In a pelvic tilt position here. Okay, shoulders are down, slightly back, and head is in line with your shoulders. Okay, you're not doing this. Here you are. Okay, then work your arms into the movement. Now, did you know that on an average day in the United States, 16.3 million people eat under the golden arches? And also, 24,657,534 hot dogs are consumed and may be related, I think so, each day. 2,005,497 people suffer from, any guesses? Heartburn. Okay, countdown to change. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Toe comes out to the side. Arms move side to side as well. If you can, if you have no shoulder problems, lift your arms up to a 45 degree angle. Okay, now you'll notice knee does not come out over the toe. Okay, tailbone is directly down. Posture is good all the while. Good for you. Okay, bring them up if you can if it's comfortable. Up they come, strong arms, though not spaghetti arms. There you go, spaghetti is something you eat. Okay, actually pasta is very good for you. In fact, we're going to review the Canada Food Guide just so you know what you need to be eating each and every day. Continue with this movement, come a little closer to the screen. I want you to take a look and review the Canada Food Guide. This is what we are to follow here in Canada. Look at the servings per day, okay? That's what your body needs each and every day to be healthy. Okay, if you're not getting all of the vi vitamins, minerals, nutrients that you need, then you're not going to be as healthy as you need to be. It might be more difficult for you to exercise too because you just don't have the energy. Okay, let's change. Five, four, three, two, and one. Heel comes forward, stretch out the calves a little bit more. 
big deep breaths. Push your hands down by your side if you're prone to neck stiffness. This is where your hands should be all the while when we're not doing the arm movements, when we're making that transition. Or if you want to work harder and you find that we're not adding the arm movements in soon enough for you, by all means, add your own arm movements in. Whatever you'd like to do. Okay, if you want to work hard, up to a 45 degree angle. You decide. Go on, there you go. Okay, and let's count down to include our movements if you'd like to follow me in five, four, three, two, one. Elbows at your side, lift out. Lift up to shoulder height, work around in a semicircle. Just to shoulder height, but in the lift, make sure that you're thinking strong arms, reach and pull. Okay, good for you. Push down and pull. This is very good for the shoulder region. Toning the deltoids, push and pull. And count down to change. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now touch the back leg back. Very important. Push that heel down. Okay, knee does not come out over the toe. Comes forward slightly, but not over the toe. Tailbone directly down. Posture is good. Arms by your side and push back. Work a little bit of the tricep. And now something else that you may not have known is that, this is interesting, Americans spend $1.37 billion daily for laxatives. Okay, now if you're requiring laxatives, something's not right with your diet, you're not following your food guides. Okay, maybe you're not drinking enough fluids. Maybe you're not exercising enough. Count down to arms, five, four, Three, two, one. Elbows at your side with your triceps and biceps. A lot of the laxatives, what they do is they move the food so quickly through your system that your intestines do not have a chance to absorb any of the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that are in your food. So it's a vicious cycle that you get caught up in. It's best to eat. Find natural cures, natural laxatives. Go. Count down to change our arms. Once again, five, four, three, two, one. Reach out. There you go. Psyllium is one of the substances that's used quite readily in laxatives that causes your food to move too quickly through your system. Okay, so watch for that in your labels. And it's in some foods too, some packaged foods that claim to be excellent laxative foods, cereals and whatnot. Reach and pull. There you go. Natural is always best. Foods that your body recommends, sorry, foods that your body recognizes, okay? Chemicals have no place in the human body. Count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, knee comes up, up. Again, if you have lower back problems, not above waist height, if your back is strong, up they come, arms in five. Four, three, two, one, at chest height, reach and pull, let me see your fingers. You have to reach those fingers. And deep breaths. Forward and back in your movement. You're doing well. Keep moving. If you can't do the arm movements, don't worry about it for a second. It's not important. If your heart rate is up, if you are winded when you count down with us, you may not need to do the arm movements. That's okay. Okay? Should be slightly winded, never gasping for air. Drop that tailbone directly down. Roll through the entire foot. Elbows do not come behind the body. Posture is good. Stay relaxed with that neck. Please don't lean forward with the head. Good, okay. And in spite of society's high fat food consumption, you'll be surprised to know a whopping 101,280,321 Americans are on diets any given day. These stats weren't available for Canada. And although we are a smaller population base, I would bet that percentages wise, probably in the same ballpark. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nico.
comes up behind the body. Bring that heel right up. Okay, now roll through the foot. See the heel touches down each and every time. Tailbone is directly down. Shoulders are over the hips. Arms in five, four, three, two, one. Crossing right over left, left over right. Lift to shoulder. Elbow only comes to shoulder. And if you can, if you're comfortable, up overhead and down. Up and down. Very good. And some interesting stats about the sexes. It seems that in America, 6,567 uh, 6, couples tied the knot on an average day. Congratulations if you've recently married. Well, this is not a good stat, but 3,197 untie the knot and get divorced on an average day. Countdown at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, just to change the arms. 3, 2, 1. Reach out at a 45 degree angle from your butt. Reach and pull back. Again, elbows do not come behind the body. Reach out and pull. Big deep breaths. Work around in a semicircle. In fact, remember when we used to do this? Round you go in a square. Small little steps. Be careful with those lateral movements. The knee joint is not stable laterally. Not for repetitive large lateral movements. Small, fine. Larger, not so fun. Round you go. Come forward. To the right. Finish off that square, rectangle. So yours looking more like a rectangle. <laughs> okay, back you go. And to the left. And let's count down and finish. Oopsie. Coxie. Kuma. Nelia to the right. Tisi. Kusi. Satsiman. Kadiksan. Udiksan. And Kuman, knee comes up, up, up. Now pump with your arms. Again, if you have lower back problems, please, knee stay below waist. If not, come up, reach, arms, reach with the arms. Almost there now, you're doing a great job. Keep going, please don't stop. Even if you have to leave out the arm movements, that's okay. Count down five, four, three, fantastic, two, and one, okay. Bending on the spot, locate your pulse, either in the radial artery in your wrist or the carotid artery in your neck. Find it, oh. Count for 10 seconds, follow the clock. Okay, let's have a look at our heart rate target zone chart. How are you doing today? You worked quite hard. Remember, that was low intensity. If ever you want to do the high intensity, all you do is add a bounce in. Now, where were you? Let's see, find your age, move up to the chart. That's your safe range. Unless your doctor has specified that you need to work at a different range, then that's the norm. Okay, going to commercial break, it's so vital that you keep moving, you stay warm, and when you come back, just for you, tummy torture time. As we roll down inch by inch, vertebrae by vertebrae, I'd like you to take a look at the food guide pyramid, which is the US's version of how people should eat. It's a little different than ours. They've broken up their vegetable group, and you can see that their bread, cereal, rice, and pasta group, um, ours in Canada is six to 12. Maybe because we've got such cool weather here, but hey, you get cool weather in the States too. I don't know, it's just varying degrees. It's really insignificant, the amount that we're talking about but it's nice to see that they're at least giving us something to go by, okay? So that's some food for fodder. Now what I need you to do here is in this position, less intense people up above, we're going to roll up and hold. Less intense people, they don't hold. Okay, they take a break and just roll up and hold. When you roll up, it's very important that you contract the lower abdominals, the middle and the upper abdominals. It's just a lift, okay? And push that spine flat, there you go. It's interesting too in terms of other vital statistics. 83% of people consider themselves at least as active as others their age. 
yet 31% never exercise. Hmm, doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, roll up and down. But then, you know, there's a different, people have different ideas of what active really is. Okay, perhaps gardening is what some people, you know, call having an active lifestyle. Perhaps it is. I mean, if you get out there with a push mower, chances are you're getting a good workout. Exercise is really all about movement. My whole thing is I just want people to move more, to teach people how to move their bodies properly, how to take care of their bodies properly by eating properly, and uh, just to include movement in their lifestyle. For example, what we tend to do is we tend to place everything that we need in our kitchens on shelves that are within our reaching distance. And what we should maybe do is actually think about putting shells such as our condiments, our sea salt and our pepper in high cabinets so we have to reach way up to get them. Things that we use on a regular basis. Perhaps the lids of our pots should be in higher cabinets or cupboards and the bottoms should be in lower ones so that we're actually reaching up and down when we're cooking. All sorts of things. We've become such a society of convenience that our bodies really are paying the price. Okay, up and down, hold. If your neck is sore, support the weight of your head in your hands here. And just think about that lift. Okay, actually lay the head into the hands. You'll feel it. Your hands are, and arms are going to have to work to support the weight of that head. Okay, and contract. It's a small little movement, tiny little movement. The smaller, the better. Once you feel that contraction, that's all it is. You contract. We'll do five more. You can do these, no problem. Please keep breathing. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Two more, I think. Okay, there you go. Up and down. Well, if we do one too many, just one for good measure, it's not going to make a big difference. And down. Okay, now we'd like to work the obliques, fingertips on the shoulders, come up, reach across the body, back to center, across the body, back to center, speed it up if you can, across, center, across. And then there's also the less intense version up there. There we go. And as though there's a, an apple or an orange between your chin and your chest here, there you go, that keeps your neck in the right position. And still, if your neck is sore, take it back, roll it from side to side, that's okay. You can actually build up these muscles here in through the neck by holding your head up. I know that in judo, we used to, when we would do newaza, which is groundwork, we'd have to lie there for sometimes 20 minutes with our heads up like this. So this doesn't bother me, but it's because I had all of that training. Okay, but for you, it doesn't matter. If your neck gets sore, just take a break. Don't feel as though you've failed. Okay, there's no such thing here. If you've tuned in, that in itself is accomplish an accomplishment. Because there are, what, 64 channels now or something like that? <laughs> okay, count down 10, nine, thanks for choosing us. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and one. Okay, lie back. Lower abdominals, you know the exercise, it's the safest one. Draw one knee in, then the other at both levels here. Okay, push, belly button, and contract, and release. Contract, and for the less intense version, all you do is take a break. Okay, for every two that we do, you do one. And I'll take you, I'll see you, I guess, after this abdominal break. Try to do 30, see you right back. Promotional considerations provided to Canadian Rocky Mountain Spring Water, who supply the water for myself and our crew. For more information, please write P.O. Box 75209, White Rock, British Columbia, Canada, V4A 9N4. Okay, if you can, slowly roll up. That was a difficult tummy section. You did well. Come to this position here, and let's just draw our knees into our chest. Sit up nice and tall, stretch out the spine, and take your chin to your chest very slowly, very controlled. And head goes back to center. You know, one thing too that a lot of people maybe don't realize is food combinations are quite important. Some food combinations can cause bloating. 
Some can cause constipation. So what you basically have to do is do a little research on your own and think about how you feel after combining certain foods. Okay, head is back. There are some books available on the market too that are interesting to read. And head comes forward because different foods, proteins, carbohydrates, and sugars require different enzymes to break them down. And they all take different amounts of time to digest. Okay, so that could be a cause for some of your problems if you're having digestive problems. Okay, it could be allergies too. Okay, draw one knee into your chest and hold it there. Other leg is bent because it's helping to take pressure off the lower back and spine. You're pushing with that belly button. No space here, I hope. Okay, and he head is down, neck is down. Shoulders, draw your shoulders back. Same thing with the other leg. Just stretch out your back. And for those of you who just join us for our warm up and cool down, I hope you had a good day today. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Okay, and hold it right here. And place both feet flat on the floor. Arms out at shoulder height. Okay, and here we go. Draw one knee in, then the other. And over they go to one side, head moves in the opposite direction, very slowly, very controlled. Upper body is relaxed. And let your head move over to. And then back to center. Keep stretching and moving. <laughs>